Hello everybody, this is Jeff Berlin. Uh, people asking about what I'm going to be presenting in my upcoming base education series, uh, people are interested to know what, what, what will the lessons entail. This video will allow me to present to you the very first lesson of the entire series. This first lesson was written for everybody and anybody who never read a note in their lives. This is a good place to begin. You begin on three notes, reading three notes, which will be on paper E, F, and G. That's the first lesson that will help you to crack the reading uh, mystery if you are interested to know how that works. Playing three notes is legitimate reading. It is functional and it tells you what the notes are and where they are on the bass neck. So to begin simply, you'll play E, an F and G, and then read an etude just based on these notes. In fact, you may find that you get so good at it, you may get a little tired of it. Oh gosh, I read these notes, I know what they are. Then the next part of this very first lesson will be to play three notes, not on the E string, but only on the A string, and that'll be A, B, and C. And you'll be reading this, and there'll be an etude or maybe even more, um, I think I have a couple of etudes in mind, where you'll be playing only these notes. Then you'll proceed to the D string. You'll have D, E, and F. And remember, this is not art. This is academic, factual, functional, synapse growing, associate, associating a note to an idea, to the brain, the hand then has a reason to represent it. This is the way to cut through all of the, let's say, uh, op options and opportunities to learn how to play. This is the fastest, most direct line from A to B to get you to play better. Then you'll do the same thing on the G string, but you're going to be playing G, A, and B. And you'll be reading just three notes. So the beginning exercise that I've just demonstrated will be only one string reading, three notes, followed by another string, another string, another string, an E string reading, A string reading, D string reading, and a G string reading. It is so easy, but anything that is not overwhelming will be easy. It's not meant to be difficult. We don't get better by being in difficult situations. We get better by being in tolerable and understandable situations, solving them, and then moving to the next situation. So I hope that this little demonstration makes it easier to understand what it is I'm going to present because from there lessons will slowly increase in interest. Uh, I'll call it difficulty because you don't know what they are, but if you could read three notes you can read four, and if you can read four you can read ten, and that is the beauty of learning how to read music, and you'll get better as bass players by doing so.